Hey, I'm Andrew Blaney from the Bay of Plenty Regional Council here to talk to you about biodiversity. And biodiversity is just an encompassing term for all the diversity of life on Earth. Biodiversity is what sustains the life-giving capacity of the environment. And if you lose one thing, it could then cascade onto losing many other species. The Manawahei Kōkako Trust are a good example of a community group coming together to protect the biodiversity of their area. My name's Norm Napo. I'm a trustee of the Manawahei Kōkako Trust. I've been a member of the Trust since around about 2000. The Trust has been going since about 1997. We've got 25 members of the Trust, including the landowners of the property. The landowners are definitely part of the Trust. In fact, without the landowners' goodwill and allowing us to be on their land, it wouldn't work at all. When we came here, the previous owner was actually logging the bush. I consulted one or two people, people of much wisdom, and they said, look, really, you shouldn't continue cutting that bush. Uh, you'd be much better to fence it off and, 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 and protect it, look after it. I thought that was a good idea, and then I thought, well, there is a problem with that. We might protect it, but uh, we may, may not have the farm forever. Next day, I might decide to cut it. So that's when I came across the Queen Elizabeth Trust, and we put uh, the first block into the Queen Elizabeth Trust. You know, when we bought the farm, it was all production. That's that, uh, you know, the place was measured in how many sheep you could run and that sort of thing, and your return per hectare and so on and so forth. Since then, with the interest in, I suppose, the environmental side of the farm, the attitude has changed. So I think when I think about biodiversity now, I think it, to a large extent it's perhaps an attitude towards environmental work and looking after the place from an environmental point of view rather than from purely a production point of view. Uh, I, th I think some of the best decisions we made was to keep the bush, look after the bush, we enjoy it. It's also involved a lot of other people and that's been great. Yeah, my name's Ken Laurent, i am uh, been a member of the Trust for about 15 years and I'm the Working Bee Coordinator. We do a lot of biodiversity protection, that's our main job, that's what we're here for. We can only work on the ground to kill predators that may be preying on, on these birds, like rats, um, possums, mustelids. We get a heap of support, um, mainly from, uh, of course, the farm. We must mention the, the, the farm owners who have been really great to us. They allow us on here. Um, the regional council, of course, have done most of the bulk of our funding, and we're very grateful for that. When we first started uh, 15 years ago, you you can see very clearly down this, this area, but you can see by killing the possums and, and rats that all this new growth is coming away, which helps you know, all, all the birds in this area, it's just beautiful. There's no doubt in my mind that with the improvement in the habitat of the bush, we've got more birds, more native wildlife, but certainly the Kōkākō numbers have increased from seven up to 40 birds in the block now, and uh, you certainly notice it. Each population of Kōkākō has their own dialect, their own song, and so it's unique to that area. And um, when you're getting down to numbers as low as seven in a patch of bush, there's a, there's a high possibility you'd lose that. So I think it's, it's quite a good feeling for the group to know that you've, you've actually kept that, something that is unique to New Zealand, and if it's lost, it's lost forever. You might have a wetland or a patch of native bush. It doesn't have to be a big project. If you're interested, just give us a call and we might be able to give you some assistance.